Why are you up so early? I'm up because I've got a lot to do. Are these pies for me? Yes, these are pies. Don't grab them, though. Why, huh? This is for work. This one's for you. Uh, uh -huh. what's the holiday? It's my birthday, son. <laughs> oh. Mom, I'm sorry. I've been working too no, hard. That's all right. <laughs> we have time Good for morning. celebrating later. Good morning. Well, listen, I have some heavy bags. Can you give me a ride to work? It's 10 to 8 right now. Mm, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Alexandra, your work is just a couple of steps away. And I'm not going by public transport on spike heels. We're going to go to a concert after work. I'll have time, Vika. Oh, and can you also just pick Peter up from kindergarten? We're going to be back uh, late. That's fine. Go to the concert in your spiked heels, and I'll pick up Peter from kindergarten, and we will celebrate when you get back. Uh, celebrate what exactly? Listen, Vika, we forgot. It's oh, Mom's yeah. birthday today. Oh? We didn't think about it when we were buying tickets. <laughs> Mom, we're sorry. Excuse me, Alexandra. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Can we congratulate you after the concert? We're going to watch Giovanni. It's difficult mm, to You go get and to watch Giovanni. <laughs> uh, I knew you would understand us. By the way, when are you going to give us the money? It's high time we bought the vouchers. Otherwise, everybody will rush to warm countries for holidays. Remember how we spoke about that? I do. I promised you'll have the money. I'll withdraw it today. Goodbye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Go and get packed. All right, Igor. Let's go. <sighs> okay, have a nice day. For someone's sins. All right, I'm off now. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job. Oh, my God. Good job. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hello, Lucia. Hello, Shora. The elevator's not working. Oh, oh, perfect. Of course it's not. And why are you so loaded? Come on, help me here. All right. It's my birthday, Lucia. Oh. Well, my congratulations then, all right. Congratulations. Fresh like a berry again? Just not a raspberry. Oh, stop it. Now, we're still beauties and not yet fools. You know that, right? I love you, Lucia. And I love you too, dear. Let's go, let's, let's go. go. Come Johnny. on, Johnny. Come on. Move. Quickly, quickly. What's with your family? What is? Why aren't they helping? Uh... They don't have time. Young people oh, have see. their own fish to fry. <laughs> Lucia, come to me after six today, and we'll celebrate. I will. You will. Mm. Everything is very tasty. Well, Faya, I right. thought you were on a diet. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's ready, girls. Come on, Faya, enough eating. Come on, we'll have more time. Open the champagne. All right. Everything's ready. That's great. Get to the table. Shall yeah, we invite well. the superiors? Yeah. San Sanich! San Sanich! Oh, our, our mm. dear Shura. Uh, Auntie Tanya, come our on. Our entire collective congratulates you on your oh, anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're our handy woman. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, we're giving you a you present from all of us. Oh, thank you yes. dearly. It's so great. Oh, and that's not it. The management of our company is awarding you with a monetary bonus for your excellent work. Uh, well, of course, and for the anniversary, too. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Oh, sure. uh, one second. Congratulations. 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 Oh, no, pour gonna it, pour it. Oh, sure, oh, you're yes. so lucky. All right, come on. Uh -huh. Oh, Here. girls, you know yeah. I just love working mm -hmm. like oh. this. <laughs> sure, uh, this is personally for me. Hope you like it. Yes. Why, thank oh, you. Okay, all right. Everything's delicious, San Sanich. So, all right, come well, on. Lucia's got a culinary talent. Yeah. Yeah. We should taste it before praising I've it. I've tasted it, Shura. I'm a leading worker. <laughs> you always <laughs> like everything. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Lucia, you've got such flawless taste. Does it look good on me? Very good. Yeah? I'm so glad that you like it, my dear. I like it. So tell me what they have given you at work. A service. We are oh. going to have tea from it, too. Oh, but of course. Tell me now, have I seen a scarf on you? Is it, is it... The boss. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Right, that is, he values us. Yes, he does value us. That is good, then. Lucia. <laughs> that is very good. And the kids, have they congratulated you or given you anything? Well, it's not even night yet, but they will. Well, let's have a drink, shall we? Hmm? 
Uh huh. Let's have it. Uh, sure. I want you to find your simple female happiness as soon as possible so much. Forgive me for banality, but you are amazing. How come you're so lonely? Lucia, don't start. I'm not lonely. I've got my beloved son, and of course, my admired and sweet and nice Peter. Yes, Peter's wonderful and everything, but I just really hope you find happiness, Shura. Cheers to you. So to us. And to you. And to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> And sure. Mm hmm. Tell me, how long has it been since your costume passed away? Five. It's been five years. Five years? That's crazy. Sure. You have to think about yourself a little. You're young and wonderful. We need to find you a husband. You are nagging me. No. You no. are. Just don't lie to yourself. <laughs> You're not old. You've only got sadness in mm. your eyes. Just eat some chicken. Sure, you've got sad <laughs> eyes. Hey, Grandma and Auntie Lucia, I have a great idea. I want to turn Jonic into a sledge dog. Peter, don't do it. Peter, I'm asking you. Uh. Jonic, come here. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. I saw oh, how she made here. eyes at you, and you Look, smiled at her. you starting? And you held the door for her. Any normal person holds a door. Oh, hello, Aunt Lucia. Why isn't Petra asleep yet? Mom, it's Grandma's birthday today. Have you forgotten all about it? I've even given her a brand new BMW car. Here are flowers. All right, Peter. Wash your face and go to bed. Good night, Grandma. Oh. I love you guys. Good night, my dear love. <laughs> Come on, go. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Well, thank mm -hmm. you, my son. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Shura, thank you. It was delicious. <laughs> You've got a light hand. Okay. All right, we'll go. If you had a husband, you wouldn't be towing the line in your house. Think over everything that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? I understand. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Send me away now. Go away. All right, we're no. off. Go on, go on. Bye-bye. I love you. <sighs> hey, Mom. Here you go, Alexandra. This is a present from mm. us. We congratulate you. Well, thank you, my dear. I've got a present for you, too. Here's the money for your vacation. Oh, Mom, thank you so much. Sit down now and have a snack. Actually, I don't eat after six. And Igor shouldn't either. Cram before sleeping, too. <sighs> I'm all right. <sighs> we're missing 20,000. Does that mean we're not going anywhere? Come on, Igor, you're not gonna say anything? Why are you so silent? Oh, maybe we could book something simpler, like four stars. I'm not going to a hut. Uh, uh, I'll take a short-term loan. People at work do that often. Igor, are you crazy? Do you know how high the rates are? Mom, I'm sorry. That's all right, Igor, you catch up now. Mm. Igor, is it really such a problem for you to find 20,000? Vika, listen, why are you so worried? I told you I'll find it. I promise you. Well, try to do it, because otherwise I will... Well, uh, otherwise what? Oh, otherwise I'll find someone for whom money is not an issue. It's not difficult with my appearance. You'd better not do that. You don't deserve it yet. Figure it out.
Igor, have you transferred money to the tour operator? Yesterday, as we agreed. Yesterday, the bankruptcy of the touristic company X Happiness was announced. Management of the company promised compensation for the victims, but never communicated to them. According to the victims, it is impossible to contact the company. Russian Tourism Agency has admitted that the insurance of the company is insufficient to compensate for the entire damage. Now, to other news. Did you hear that? What is it? Were they speaking about our tour operator? Uh, yeah, apparently. Apparently? Do you understand that I waited a whole year for this trip? And what now? The money is gone, and the vacation is wasted. Where did you find those swindlers? Hold on. The reviews on the internet were very positive. How could I know? You can't be trusted with anything. You always plunge into something. You're a trouble, not a person. Vika, I don't understand your problems with Igor. Excuse me. You were the one who wanted to find a voucher as soon as possible, am I right? And how is it possible to know that the company will go bankrupt? Of course, yes. You are always defending your darling son. And I am always the one to blame. Vika, you're saying nonsense. Mom, why are you getting involved? Why are you like that? Vika! Wonderful. Hello, girls. Listen, I'm really sorry that I'm late. Now we've got clothes from Turkey here. Look at the blouse I've got me. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it suits you. And Thank there's you. a nice jacket for you there. Will you try it on? Oh, uh, girls, I don't need anything right now. Why not? It's such a nice jacket. It is nice, but I don't have the money, and I'm not in the mood. But you received a bonus recently. She gave everything to her son. Shura, did something happen? You don't look like yourself for the second day already. Shura. There's hell at home. My relatives were going on vacation, and the tour agency went bankrupt. They cannot get their money back. My daughter-in-law is like a mad dog. I used to be able to approach her, but now she only shouts at Peter, and she nitpicks at Igor. She doesn't love him, she doesn't. I can't look at it. All it does is make my heart bleed and I just wish I could go somewhere far away from everyone in my family right now. Hey, listen. Shura, go to Sansanich. He's a nice man. He treats you well and he'll let you go. It'll be okay. All right, Shura. Run to Sansanich. Yulia, what come have on, you come made on, up? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Just ask did you hear me? No. Come on. Come I on. Go. go and get need a vacation. Go. Do I need it? Can I come in? Yeah, sure, of course. I wanted to ask you for some time off for about two weeks. If I'm needed at work, then I understand and I won't even... Well, what? Did something happen? No, uh, nothing happened. I'm just... Listen, I'm just so tired. Are you sure? Because it's all right. I'm sure. <sighs> All right, then. You're a serious person, and you wouldn't ask for no reason. Hmm? Write a request. Just promise me that you'll have a proper rest. Well, thank you. I promise I'll have a proper rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I nearly forgot. All right. Shura? Uh-huh. The keys. What is this? Memorize it. Vocal District, Mikhail Village. But I don't understand. What is it? The keys from a country house. Well, I've arranged everything. My godfather will meet you there. He lives nearby in the next village. Yulia, thank you so much. Oh, come on. That's nothing. Tell me, can I pay for anything? No, there's no money needed. 
<laughs> you are not a Rockefeller. <laughs> Do you want me to bring something else? No. All right, I'll pick you up in the evening. Cow milk cottage cheese for hell. Don't pass by. Come closer. Can I taste the cottage cheese? Why taste it? The goods are top quality. Buy it or move on if you're not buying. Oh, Nina, you shouldn't have scared him off. We've only got a few buyers and you're going to stand here until the evening. Who, me? Mm-hmm. Weigh half a kilogram for me, please. Yeah, right. What will I do with the remaining half? Take everything. And the milk, too. All right? Yeah. 300. Thank you. <laughs> Take note. That's how to trade. <laughs> you sold it to him nicely. The milk must be yesterday spoiled. But that's not my problem. Uh. Uh-uh. Well, how are the sales going? I sold it all, Fedya. I could go home now. We'll have to wait. Yulia's friend is not here. The bus must be stuck in a traffic jam. Well, hello there. I don't know her at all, and I have to wait for her? No, do that alone. Grisha! Yeah? When are you going home? Right now? I've already packed. Hold on! I'm coming with you. Fedora decided to do some charity here. All right, go ahead. But without me, all right? Nina, stop talking nonsense. Yulia asked me to meet this woman, and Yulia's my goddaughter. She's not a stranger, you know. Your goddaughter? You meet her then! I'll go home with Grisha! Step out carefully. Well, hello there. Hello. Are you Shura Lubimova, Yulia's friend? Yes, and you're Fedor? Yes. Nice to meet you. This is Peter, my grandson. Peter, say hello. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. Let's get acquainted. I'm Fedor. And I'm Peter. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm sorry for making you wait, That's fine, but... dear. The main thing is that you made it here. All right, let's go. Now, it's not far from Mikhailvid. Let's get going. You sure have many wonderful places here. Yes, our places are beautiful. Hey, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are there any wolves in the forest? No, I... I haven't seen wolves. But there are foxes and hares, though. Will I be able to see them? <laughs> oh. Well, perhaps you will, then. Foxes come to the village to steal hens sometimes, and hares come from time to time as well. Oh, that's so <laughs> great! <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, look. He gave her a hand. What a damn gentleman. Wish <sighs> he gave his wife a hand at least once. A peacock. Peter, isn't the house beautiful? Yeah. All right. Welcome home. Come right in. Well, go inside. Wow. Grandma, is it a whole house for just the two of us? Yes, Peter. And you'll be the host here. That is, you can do 
Whatever you want to do, just don't break anything, deal? No, I'm careful. <laughs> hey, Grandma, can I see everything else here? Come here, look. There's room for the kid to play. He'll walk, breathe fresh air, and have rest from the computer and the TV set, finally. And you need to go out often as well. There's nature, it's beautiful, the air is fresh, not like the city. That's right. Therefore, I hope that you'll enjoy your rest here. Help yourself. Is this for me? Yes, I baked it. I hope that you like it. Well, I'm sure I'll like it. Here are the keys. Mm -hmm. You know what? If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask me. I come from work at 5 o'clock. And where do you work? I work as a foreman in construction, building houses. Hmm. Grandma, I like it here. Well, look at Peter, already getting used to it. Listen, in the morning, come to us for milk and for mm. cottage cheese. It's fresh and tasty. At least you'll have some natural products here. We won't say no. We'll come. And moreover, Peter, I'll introduce you to Tuzik. Do you like dogs? Yes, I do. Your neighbor has this really cute <laughs> dog, and I like playing with it so much. All right, it's a deal then. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have a rest after work. I won't bother you. Thank you once again. Make yourself at home. <laughs> I think it's great, don't you? Yeah. Let's unpack our suitcases, all right? Come on, come on, come on. I'll catch up with you, you sharp lad. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Swing around and around. <laughs> okay, I'm beat. Let's go sightseeing. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, I like it here. And what about you, huh? I do like it here. Hey, do you think that we can come here every single year? I don't know, Peter. We're guests. It's not our house. You know what, Grandma? When I grow up, I'll buy you a house, too. And I'll have a big car, like my uncle has. And we'll all ride along in it. My good, sweet boy. Grandma, you know, I really liked Uncle Fedor. Yeah? Hello there. Hello. Oh, hey. Will we come to visit Uncle Fedor and meet his dog, huh? We will. Of course we will. <laughs> oh, what a dog. Oh, what a good boy. Are you a good boy? Tosik, oh, you're yes, a parasite. You are. Go home. He doesn't bite. Hello. Hello there. We're staying at Yulia's house. Fedor said that we can take milk and cottage cheese here. Huh? Take? We're not millionaires. But we can sell it. <laughs> I chose a wrong word. I meant buying it, of course. All right. I'll strain it and bring it. Just wait here. Oh, he's scared. Mm -hmm. You see, he's a nice and kind dog. He guards the house. That's why he barks. He's okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hasn't Artuzik scared you? No. He even liked Grandma. He could see a good person for sure. Come on, Peter. I'll show you what else he can do. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sit down, sit down, sit down. Good boy, sit. Lie down now. Great. Good dog. Stand up. Stand up. Good job, dog. You're clowning good. again. <laughs> oh, good Here boy. Here you go. It would be oh. 300 rubles. Oh, thank you. Nina, come on. My wife is joking. We're not going to take money from you. No, no, it's but not right. But you're Julia's guest. That is... You're our guest Hold as on, well. Hold on, Fedor, but it, 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 it's not right. Oh, come on, calm down. It's all good and all right. Peter, do you like living in the village or what? Yeah. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? No, and I don't have a bicycle at home. <laughs> but Yulia does, I know it. Last year, her boy used to ride it. Look, I've got a day off tomorrow. Let's find mm. that bike and check whether it's in working condition, and then I'll teach you how to ride it. Hooray! Oh. Grandma, <laughs> have you heard? I'm going to ride a bicycle. That's so great. Well, it was a very yeah. kind offer, but I'm not really sure. I mean, it's your day off, and I'm sure you'll have stuff to do around the house, right? Oh, don't worry about it. It would be my pleasure. All right, is it a deal? It's a deal. See you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. Well, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Nina, come on, what's wrong? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Look at that millionaire. Right, let's feed all the guests for free without money, huh? What are you saying, Nina? You'd better remember how many gifts Yulia got us from the city. Mm -hmm. Can we spend a cup of milk on her? The next time that girlfriend comes, I'll get her a single cup. Nina. Why are you angry all the time? Don't you feel disgusted? Huh? You used to be cheerful. You always had a smile on your face. I practically fell in love with your laughter. And now you're angry like a dog on the leash. I don't hear a kind word from you. Just look at yourself. <sighs> ha! Boasting. You're a feather before a new skirt, right? You're a, a ragged peacock. Who needs you? decided to buy a coat. You said you had no money. Oh, that's right. I have no money, but why wait for money? I would spend my whole life wearing rags, am I right? We're women. We need to be pampered. That's right, Nina. Oh, you're so lucky with your husband. Yes, I am. How does it look? All right, are you buying it? Yes, I am. Incline it. All right. Peter, hold it. Oh, I don't know. How will we make it? Let me do it. No, 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 no. Let me. Hold the ladder. Hold it tight and lean. All right? Like this. That's right. Shura, hello there. Hello there. Let me help you out. <sighs> could you help us? <laughs> yeah, we could use some help. Peter, give me the feed. Huh? Yeah? Here, right? All right. Now the birds won't starve. Right, Peter? Isn't that right? Oh, look. Well, I saw the car come. But my husband's not here. Studying the birds, huh? Hello. Hello there. Hello there. All right, Peter. You're going to tell me who comes here then, all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Grandma, which birds could come to us? Could a woodpecker come oh, to yeah, us, sure. you think? Nina, what's wrong with you? Buckets and basins on the road? Don't I have a mistress at home? Look at him. He's noticed the wash basin, but we're not paying attention to the wife, right? He can't see a new coat. Happiness isn't in a coat, Nina. I'm writing it! All I'm right. writing it! Oh, yes, it. you are! Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> My All right. dear! All right, hush. Oh, thank you, Fedor. So much happiness, right, Peter? Oh, sure, you're so happy. <laughs> children are such happiness, let alone grandchildren, right? Do you have any children, <laughs> Fedor? Sadly, no. We haven't been able to have them. I'm so sorry. Uncle Fedor, can <laughs> you ride the bicycle, too? Oh. Peter. <laughs> Let's ask your grandmother to do it. What do you think about that, huh? Oh. Somehow, I think she will do it just fine. Uh, no. <laughs> come on, Grandma, sit down. Sure, come, come on. on. No, 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 no. I haven't ridden a bike in ages. Sure, come on. Oh, no. No, guys, no. Don't I, I, worry, I... Grandma. It's not scary, I promise. Not scary? Not at my age. I'm sorry. Sure, no. what age? What are you talking about? You know what? Let's take a ride together. <laughs> come on. You drive to the pillar, and I drive back from it. Sit down now. Look at these conspirators. All right, Peter, come on. Let's do this now. Come on, push it, Peter. All right, come on. Ready, set, go! Oh! Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Shura! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, no! <laughs> You're a natural-born cyclist, I can tell. <laughs>
Nina, are you, are you drinking tea? Mm-hmm. Well, I'd like some too, dear. Let your girlfriend from the city make tea for you. You keep going around with her instead of spending the weekend with your wife. Nina, why are you doing this? You know, you just remember one thing. When was the last time we spent a weekend together? You don't have anything to talk to me about. You just scream at me and keep nagging me. Thank you for the tea. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Grandma, come on, let's play tag. Peter, we don't have time for tag. Look how dirty it is on the ground, and if we fall and drop the pie, we'll have nothing to give. Grandma, look, a hen, look. It is a hen. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Grandma, look, has Tusik caught a hen? No, uh, Peter, they are just playing. Oh, Tusik and the hen are playing tag, too? Oh, yes, you like playing tag, and Tusik does, too. You're such a master, Shura. It's delicious. Uncle Fedor, can mm -hmm. we ride a bicycle some more tomorrow, please? <laughs> of course we can. I'll teach you to ride it so well. All the boys will envy you. <laughs> Good day. Oh. Hello, Hello everyone. Hi. Oh man, that was a long walk. Hello. The same to you. <laughs> Sit down and have tea with us, please. No, I do not want your tea. But I will like mm. your money right away. Do you hear me? Uh, what money are you talking about, I wonder? Letters. Money for my dead hen that your dog bit to death, yes. Why was it Tusik, huh? Don't we have other dogs in the village? Peter, drink your tea. We saw Tusik play tag with a hen. Right, Grandma? Remember that? Here it is! Here's the truth! A child will never lie! I need 1,000 rubles right away. Ah, a thousand? Where have you come up with such prices? Huh? My hen was of an egg breed. That was a discount. Oh. You understand? Here is why it's so oh. cheap. Oh! Yeah? You see, your music yeah. only brings problems and losses. 400, I won't give you any more. Well, all right, I'll sue you. Do you understand? Come I'll on, sue you. Go ahead. Uh, hold on. Bye. Hold on. Take it. Well, you're an honest man, and I, I respect you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Goodbye, hen killer! Uh-huh! Fedor, are you out of your mind? Her, her hen is a hundred years old, and you paid such money to her? We are so sorry. <clears throat> but we are used to always telling the truth, aren't we? And this is right. Mm -hmm. This is right, Peter. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk, right? More tea? Adjusted, honey. Your dad's calling. Hello? Yes, Igor? We're walking. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> and don't worry, we eat all right, too. So calm Vika down. How are you? Mm-hmm, I see. Give it back, it's huh? mine! Hey, come on, I found it first! And I lost it yesterday, give it back! No, I won't! Listen, we'll oh, talk this evening. Give oh, it hey, back! what are you doing? My hand. What? Give it back! Get out! Get out. Peter, are you okay? Oh, Does it my hurt? Hand. Oh. What hurts? Your elbow, shoulder? What hurts? Where? Oh, look at it! I see. Let's go home. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I know it hurts. It's okay. <laughs> Fedor, Nina, where is the hospital? What happened? Uh, Peter got into a fight with a boy, and he says his hand hurts a lot. Well, we had a Felcher station, but it was closed, you know? Well, what do we do? Go to the district center, to the district hospital. The bus comes in half an hour. Sure, I'll take you to the district center. Oh, thank you so much, Fedor. That's nothing. Go and take your passport in the meanwhile, all right? Oh, yes, yes. I'll warm up the car. All right. <sighs> Fedor. Huh? I don't get it. Don't you need to go to the construction? What construction, Nina? A child is in trouble. Hmm. But it's not your child. Benefactor. Peter, let me zip it. And we were worried for no reason. We're removing the bandage tomorrow. 
Well, finally. Are you alive? Yeah. Hmm? Fedor, were you waiting for us all this time? Well, how else would you get there? The bus only comes in the evening. What did the doctor say? So what did the doctor say, huh? Huh? He said that it was a minor displacement. Yeah. That's it. Well, thank God it all played out well. I was really worried, you know. Let's go then. Please. Well, did they hospitalize the kid? He doesn't have a fracture. I brought them home. Brought them? How's that? Didn't you have to go to work? Nina, I couldn't just leave them alone. What if they needed something urgently? <sighs> Holy cats. What care are you talking about? Are you their father? Nina, don't start. Just give me something to eat. Something to eat? Don't you want anything else? Nina. What's wrong with you? Why are you being so mean? Am I mean? Tell me, is it all my fault? Well, of course it is. The wife is to blame for everything. The husband walks God knows where the entire day. He drives a strange woman somewhere, and the wife is to blame. I just can't look at you right now. You're getting under my skin. I will kill you, I swear. You sick of me? Yeah. All right, then. Door, is that you? Did something happen? Why aren't you saying anything? What's going on with you? Is everything okay? Well... I obviously like you. Can't you see that? But you are a married man, Fedor. I'll leave Nina right away. Just tell me. I don't love her. And she doesn't love me. But why didn't you leave her earlier if you don't love her? I've never felt this. I didn't know that it's possible to understand that in several days how someone really needs you. And if that someone smiles at you, this smiles for you. I don't remember when I last smiled. And now it feels like I've started living anew. 
Shura, I can see it that you care too. Fedor, it's wrong. We can't do it. Look. We can't ruin someone else's life. That's not life, Shura. Nina and I have been strangers for a long time. We're only playing a family, you know. Shura... Shura, don't send me away. I'm ready to do everything for Just you. leave the door. I wish you'd leave. Peter, finish your drawing and let's have breakfast. Grandma, what is that bad smell? The porridge must have burned. Grandma, look at the drawing I just made for you. Mm. Grandma, are you feeling bad? You know what, Peter? Finish your drawing, and then we'll have breakfast and pack our things. Mom and Dad are already missing you. Peter, take the bag and take out the keys. Do you remember what pocket you put them in, honey? You don't. Are you confused? Here they are. Take them here. Mommy! Uh, oh, hi, Alexandra. What are you doing here? Why have you come back so early? Has something happened? No, nothing happened. It's just that little Peter missed you a lot, right? Vika, where have you gone? Peter, let's go buy some of your favorite candy, right? Let's go! Let's go. stairs. Uh, hello, Igor. Are you working? Uh, I'm calling just for a minute. Your mom and Peter are back. Can you imagine? I'm so glad. It was so empty without them. It's just, Alexandra is somewhat weird. There was a water counter specialist here at that moment. She heard his voice, grabbed Peter, and ran somewhere. They're still not here. I already called. But she's not picking up, yeah. Yes, all right. Peter, you know what? Take Jonic for a walk there. He's cold, so go. Go quickly. Lucia, honestly, I don't even know what to do or what to say to him. Well, just tell him. Let him know whom he's dealing with. She's not just nagging him, she's cheating on him. Who should I tell? Should I tell Igor? What do you mean? Don't you know Igor? He loves Vika very much, and also I don't know how he will behave. 
it'll all reflect on Peter. And that's a problem, Lucia, that's it. Yes, you might be right. You cannot tell him. They'll make peace later and you'll feel guilty for the rest of your life. This is the case where the night cuckoo would out cuckoo any day cuckoo. That's not all, Lucia. What? <sighs> Fedor. You're knocking in vain, Fedor. They're gone. Gone where? Who would know? Home, I guess. She walked with a suitcase, and the boy walked with her. When did they leave? In the morning. All right, bye. And that is that you dumped the man. Mm. Hold on, if he's going to leave his wife, it's all serious, right? I don't know. Don't you like him? Uh... <laughs> you liked him, right? You're a good person, Shura. It's hard for you, you live by conscience. Oh, another woman would do a lot in your place. Do they have children? No. <sighs> but it's all in vain. Lucia, it is. It's all in vain. And I was there, and I had mead, and saw a green oak by the sea, and the wise cat sat underneath it and told me his tales, <laughs> didn't he? Yes, he sure did. <laughs> Alexandra, do you even look at the clock? It's high time the child Shh. went to bed. Peter, come brush your teeth and go to bed. Sweet dreams to you, my darling. Good night, Grandma. Come on, come on. Listen, Alexandra, Igor and I are going to visit friends tomorrow. Would you please pick up Peter's jacket from the cleaners? <laughs> Igor. I told you I'm afraid of tickling. Afraid? You my princess. Your princess. Igor, I am not in the mood. But why? Your mom, hold on. What? Well, it's like she doesn't hear me or see me. I've asked her repeatedly to pick up Peter's jacket from the cleaners, and she didn't even bother to answer me. As if I were nothing at all, as if... Hold on, perhaps she just didn't understand you. No. She disliked me from the beginning. I guess she considers me unworthy to be with her precious son, right? Why are you even saying that, Vika? I am hmm? saying what I'm seeing, Igor. And I can't go on like this. I want to be a mistress in my house. Do you want me to talk to her? Hmm? I want that very much. Go, I even wonder what she's gonna tell you about me. Go. All right.
Mom? What happened between you and Vika? She says that you're not talking to her. <sighs> no, that's not true, son. It's just, uh, frankly speaking, I have a reason for not talking to Vika right now. All right. What's the reason? Huh? Igor. Honey, you know how kind I always was to your wife and all, but it's just... <sighs> all right. I'm asking you, don't cut corners and tell me everything as it is. I don't know how to talk about it, though. <laughs> that is, you simply decided to destroy my family? Okay. No, that's not true. That's it. I don't want to listen to it. I'm protecting you before Vika, and are... Are you lying to me? Son, what are you even saying to me? I won't let you make us divorce, okay? Igor, what are you saying? All right, what calm down. Told Let's Igor? go. Do you want us to get in a fight? I've Let's always go. known that you don't love me. Come on, come on. But what have I ever done to you? Tell me, what have <sighs> I done to you? Vika. <gasps> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Vika, that's it, that's it, hush, 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 calm down, calm down, shh, shh, calm down now, calm down now, it's okay, calm down, calm down, Igor, shh, shh. Do you love me? My silly girl, of course I do. Igor, I'm begging you, let's split the apartment. You understand that I can't go on like this. Vika, honey, you know that it's my mom's apartment. All right, choose then. It's either me, or it's your mother. Hmm. Oh, girls, I am so sick and tired of this ugly Moscow gray. Ugh. In the village, it's beautiful. The air is clean, and the sky is blue. <laughs> That's clear. You're looking so much better. A flower, not a girl. We should get you married. Wah, 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 wah. Hello, Sansanich. Sure. Uh, it seems as if it even got lighter in here. <laughs> Listen, my dear friend. I think he's attracted to you. That's right. Oh, he's just in a good mood. He's just in a good mood because he saw you. He used to walk around darker than a storm cloud. Shura, hmm? I'm going in your direction today. Get in. I'll give you a ride. It's not far. No, come on. It's no trouble. <sighs> Bye, Shura. Bye, Shura. Goodbye, Sunset. Bye. Drive safe, you guys. Girls, we're going to have fun at the wedding. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Sunset. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, girls, we're going to have so much fun Let's at the step wedding. Let's back. <laughs> hey, Shura. I'm not going to beat around the bush with you. I like you very, very much. 
You've probably already noticed. Anyway, will you marry me? Sansanich. I, uh, I... I couldn't propose earlier because I promised my wife that there wouldn't be another woman in our house after my wife's death. But then why break the promise to your wife? The circumstances have changed. A lot has happened in the past few months, and well, I am alone now. <laughs> and you're alone, and uh, a dear person is even more important at our age. I'm a reliable man. You know that I will never hurt you. I've always liked you. You know, I'm not hurrying you. Just think about it. Think and I will wait. I will wait. However long it takes. Thank you so much, Sansanich. Fedor? Fed? <sighs> Hello, Godfather. Hello, Yulia. I'm so glad to see you. I was just driving by and decided to surprise you. A nice surprise, but what if I had to work? We wouldn't have time to meet then. Oh, well, let me drive you to work then. All right, we'll have time to talk then. All right, sounds good. All right, Yulia, tell me how are you? What's to tell? I'm as usual. Everything fine. My kids study, engaged in sports. I work. There's nothing to complain about. And how's your friend then, Shura, and her grandson, Peter? Shura's personal life is getting better, I think. I hope I won't jinx it. Our boss is romancing her. He's such a fine man. A widower with a position. I'm really happy for her. <laughs> My younger boy has learned the entire alphabet. He reads by syllables, takes books and reads them. He's too little, it's too early for him to go to school. All right, I'll go. It's a pity you can't stay longer. We'll visit with the kids someday. All right, bye. We're always happy to have guests. <laughs> Say hello to Nina. Thank you. Bye. some vodka. I won't do it. You're good already. Oh, damn. It doesn't matter. It's bad if I don't drink. And it's even worse if I do. Are you so pickled that you can't get to the bedroom, Fedor? I can do it all, Nina. I, I don't want to.
Fedor, have you gotten drunk? Because of that damn Shura? I am capable of doing something bad. You'll go to prison for that. Let them send me. But I swear I won't let this snake live. Do you understand? I do. I've understood everything about us for a long time. <sighs> okay, excuse me. Hello? Why are you so fussy now? Anicia, I need your help. Well? I need to charm Fedor. He fell in love with that city woman and even started drinking. It never happened before, you know that. I know everything. I just can't understand why you would even want to charm him. You never loved Fedor. In fact, you even wanted to run away with your lover. But your lover ran away earlier. Fedor forgave you. He pitied you. But you haven't valued your happiness, and you missed it yourself. Do you understand? Well, it was a long time ago. Fedor's my husband. Do you understand? He's mine. And I won't let anyone else have him. Like a dog in the manger. Anicia, stop lecturing me. Will you do it? Yes, come in the evening. Uh-huh. Don't forget Fedora's shirt. I'll do everything. As good as I possibly can. You're my only hope. Yes, of course. Even though there are three rooms, the area is pretty small and the house is old, so I can only offer you two single bedroom flats. Mm, no, that doesn't suit us. Uh, you see, there are three of us already and we want to have more kids. Yeah, my wife's right. Let's consider some other option. Well, there's another option, a two room flat for you and a room in a communal flat for your mother. The choice isn't big here, unfortunately. Well, that sounds fine. All right, then. We'll choose a good combination. The flat will be with the minimum number of neighbors. Oh, thank God. We'll live as a family. By the way, it will be quieter for Alexandra without us. Grandma, I really don't want to be left without you. Who's gonna read me fairy tales? Peter, you're a grown-up now. Learn how to read on your own. That's all right. You know what? You'll come to visit me. And I will come to visit you. And it's very interesting, Peter. <laughs> Fedora. No water or fire would be able to divide them. Let it be so. Tie your slaves, Fedor and Nina, so that no water or fire would be able to divide them. Let it be so. Let it be so, Fedor and Nina, so that no water or fire would be able to divide them. Let it be so. Tie your slaves, Fedor and Nina, so that no water or fire would be able to divide them. Let it be so, let it be so. 
take it. Don't be afraid. You'll put it in his bed under the sheet where Fedora usually sleeps. And here's another thing. You'll be adding four drops to his food and drink. As soon as he sits to eat, just drip it in there. Don't let him see it. And that's it. And that's it. Isn't it dangerous? What if I poison the man? No, it has been proven by many years. D Don't fear. Well, does it help? You know what? Don't ask me silly questions. You came here on your own. I didn't drag you here on a rope. If you have doubts, go to another place where they will help you. No, 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 no. Anisia, you're my, you're my only hope. Thank you. It's early to thank me. It's too early. Go and do as I said. Just go now. Go. Oh, God, just go, okay? Oh, God. Well, that's it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Hello! We're your neighbors. We came to meet you. Hello. Hello, come on in, girls. I'm Valya, and this is my friend Galia. We're sharing a room. Nice to meet you. Alexandra Ilyanichna. Tell us, what's your name, sir? Igor. Igor. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You've got quite an apartment. An alcoholic old man used to live here before, and he dropped out a month ago. That's all right. You'll repair it, and it will be fine. Okay, so we'll go now. Call us if necessary, and we'll help. Mm-hmm. Okay, Goodbye. bye. Goodbye Good now. Good luck. Honey, uh, the neighbors seem like good girls, don't they? Yeah, you got lucky with the neighbors. Hmm. <laughs> Going so soon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Um, I guess decide what you want about repair and, um, and furniture. <laughs> and furniture. Um, all right then. <sighs> Bye. You scared me. I nearly cut off my fingers. It's a pity you didn't cut them off. God marks the crook. What's wrong with you? Who promised me that I'll be all right with my husband? Your stupid charm doesn't work. And your damn drops are fakes. No, you're expecting it to work too quickly. You need to wait for a while. Wait for what? Wait until he leaves for that bitch? What about me? What do I do? I have no education or normal work. You should have thought about that earlier. <laughs> the thing is, I'm younger than Shura. Why did he ever fall for her? What do those men even need? What they need is some love. Family, children, and grandchildren. What does your fedora have? An empty house and a wife with scandals. 
Go away. Drip, as I told you, and Fedora will be yours. That's it. Go. Just release me from all of this. Go to hell. Hello, guys. Fedor, come here. We need to talk. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Look. Here are a million rubles. You'll go to Nikolsky tomorrow. We need Italian plumbing fixtures. The owner of the shop is warned. Your task is to take a look and bring it here. Is that clear? It's clear, Oleg. Listen, I've withdrawn cash. There's a big discount if you pay in cash. Now, don't wave the money around. Go home, all right? OK. All right, bye. That's me. Why are you so early? Boss, let me go early. I'm going to Nikolsky tomorrow to get some plumbing fixtures. I've cooked borscht and fried cutlets. It's all fresh from the stove. Will you eat? With great pleasure. I'll just wash my mm -hmm. hands. It's not tasty? What do you mean? It's all right. <sighs> the Kuzikins bought a new car. Perhaps we should too. What do you mean? Don't we have a nice car? Well, the Kuzikins one is bigger. Those people have children and five grandchildren. Whom will we ride? Nina. If you hadn't had the abortion, perhaps a lot would have been different in our life. Fedor, are you going to blame me for the abortion for the rest of my life? It's easy to say, give birth, Nina. I'll raise him like my own son. And then you would have hated us for your entire life, both me and the child. You're a fool, Nina. You didn't kill a baby back then. You killed our life and our future. That's exactly what you did. Give me the decanter. I won't. You got used to drinking every day. Save your health. Why the hell would I need it? Living with you makes me sick. Fedor, where are you going? Fedor! <laughs> Screw you. show you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Found yourself a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> I'll show you a sky full of diamonds.
see how you deal with it. Another mistake. My head is just not working today. What's wrong, Shura? I'm sleeping and I'm making mistakes. Did you sleep badly? Yes, I did. I didn't sleep at all last night. The neighbors were having fun. Boys the entire night. You should have called the police. I don't want a scandal and the girls are basically good and I feel for them. They want to get married, I think. Hmm. I suppose. Everyone wants to get married. Nowadays. <sighs> Shura, why are you delaying it with Sansanich? You should have accepted. You'd be living in a nice flat with a nice man. Come on. Slept. Come on. Fedora, what's wrong? Why aren't you picking up the phone? You didn't get the goods from the shop. I thought you were robbed and thrown into the river. Well, what happened? I'm sorry, Oleg. I don't have the money. <sighs> you don't have the money? What do you mean? I've gambled it. I've got a sin. I couldn't resist it. Don't try to fool me. I've known you for a long time. Now, where is the money? Where is your wife? Where is she? Went to the market, I guess. I see. So you don't want to tell the truth? Covering someone else's sins, aren't you? Listen to me, Oleg. Please give me time. I'll pay it all to the last penny. Oh, Fedor, Fedor, all right. 
I won't... I will not go to the police. I'll give you six months. If you don't return the money, I'll go to the end of the earth to find you. Is that clear? Got her revenge. Igor? Uh, hello. Hello, Auntie Lucia. Hello. Do you live in this house now? Yeah, we've split the apartment, and very luckily, too, we can uh, <laughs> stick to our old habits, so it's fine, it's fine. And Mom lives in the suburbs, as I understand. She has a room in the communal flat, right? An hour and a half to get to work. Mm, but this is all because of Peter. The kindergarten is so good here. And, um, Mom wasn't against it. When was your mom against anything? She was always breaking her neck to make everything good for you. Mm, well, yeah. You're doing good, Igor. You've got a wife, a family, and a child. You take care of them. That's great. And your mom has done her thing. You don't need mom anymore. Vika's happy. Vika can do whatever she wants while her husband is at work. And no mother-in-law who bothers. What are you hinting at? Igor. I'm not even hinting. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. All right, where does this one go? How long is this gonna last? I told you to call the master, but you said that you do it yourself. Anything to save money. What have I done to deserve such a handless husband? I'm headless, not handless. Otherwise, I wouldn't have married you, Vico. What was that? Have I heard it right? Yeah, you've heard it right, okay? Tell me, what else do you need? I've done everything for you. I evicted my own mother to God knows where, to the middle of nowhere. Anything not to bother my Vika. Did you find a man, huh? Do you want to cheat on me? Well, you're welcome. But consider this, I won't give you Peter. Igor, why are you starting? Is it because of the cabinet? What man? Are you out of your mind? The man and more. There are rumors about you. And I guess my mom found out and you made her move out, right? Igor, I love you, my dear. You know, you know that our family is above everything else for me. Well? Hands off of me. Hey, Igor. I won't be able to live without you. Do you... Do you understand? If you want, let's live together with your mom. I'll... I'll find common ground with her. Just let's not argue. Please, let's not argue. It's all right. I've made a decision. We move in with mom or buy her a normal flat and... I'm taking a mortgage loan. And that's fine, we'll pay it somehow. You're going to work full-time, Vika. And Mom will decide whether to live with us or separately. Everything will be as you say, Igor. Hey, Shora. Hmm? How's your daughter-in-law? 
She came to visit the other day, and believe it or not, she brought me a pie, and she said she made it herself. <laughs> She's like a new person. Mm. I think it's getting better. Well, God help you. He sure does. Sure. I know that you like ballet very much. Here uh, are some tickets to uh, to Giselle in the Bolshoi. I won't take no for an answer. You haven't been to the theater in a long time. I don't even remember the last time. Well then, all the more so. Sansonich is right. There's no other way to deal with you. Hello? Godfather, listen, I just wanted to call you. There's a buyer for your house. What? Come to you? Sure, yeah, I can do it. Of, of course I can. All right, bye. I'm coming. See you. Yulia, did something happen to Fedor? Uh, yes, it did, Shura. His entire life went down a slope. His wife left him, and he's in some debt. Now he's selling his house to repay it. When he came just recently, it was all so good. When did he come? Well, didn't I tell you about that? Sorry, I got buried in work. By the way, he asked about you and about Peter. All right, I'll run. I need to get there. Bye, Shura. Godfather. Hello, Yulia. Sorry for bothering you. It's just that I'm leaving for a project tomorrow, and I'll work and live there. And the house needs to be registered. I wanted to ask you about it. So here are the keys. Hold on. Perhaps you'll change your mind. You love this house so much. We'll manage the debt. I'll sell my house, you'll pay, and I'll wait. No, Yulia. A man has to pay his debts, even if they're someone else's. And I don't want to trouble you with my problems. Do you understand me? Well, it's your call. Just promise me that you'll talk to one person first. To whom? 